Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, how to find the prime series. That means we'll give the starting number and the end number. We are supposed to find all the primes in between the given range. So first we'll see the logic and then we'll implement that by using the Python language. So prime series right so first let us find about the prime if you take a value n so what we have to do n should be we have to find the factors okay find the factors so uh, it should be divided by from 2 onwards because every number will be divisible by 1 and itself so we have to find the factors that means divisible divisible We have to check the divisibility from 2 to n minus 1, right? From 2 to n minus 1. So we need if if you take n as a value, so we have to find n divided by n mod 2, n mod 3, n mod 4, and so on, n mod n minus 1. Right? So we should we should not get this divisibility that means we should not get a zero for all these operations so then only we can say n as a prime number now we have to this is for a prime logic okay this is for a prime logic prime logic so if you want to take the prime series right prime series so we need to consider the start range and end value Okay, starting value and end value, we need to find the prime numbers in between those values. So for that, we'll take the start number. So one, uh, two loops should be taken. One is a outer loop, outer loop. So which will be iterating from start value to end value, end value. And inner loop, we'll write an inner loop. So where we have to find the divisibility divisibility for each number from outer loop right so whatever the number we are getting from the outer loop we have to find the divisibility for each number from from 2 to 2 to the number minus 1 so this is the number which is coming from outer loop the number which is coming from outer loop right and the rest of the thing is same so so the prime number means a number which is having that factors one and itself that means the divisibility one and itself so for all the other numbers we should not get the zero if we apply the mod operation then we can say that it is not divisible by particular number now so we'll write the logic see let us take the start value start value is uh, take the integer value input enter starting value and similarly we have to go with the end value so int of input enter enter end value now we have to write two loops one is the outer loop for ranging starting value to end value so for i in range start to stop or here we are take we have taken it as end right end and now we have to check whether the number is prime i is a number now right i is a number now so write down the prime logic so once again uh, repeat the uh, one more loop for j in range so what we have to do we have to check the divisibility from 2 to that particular number so for every iteration the number will be in i so we have to iterate from 2 to i and why what we have to do if if so 
i mod j so for if if we, we have taken the start value as uh, 5 the 5 will be taken and j value is from 2 3 and 4 so 5 divided by 2 4 div 5 divided by 3 5 divided by 4 right so like that we have to take and if it is 0 uh, simply we can break and else simply we can print the i value so that it is a prime so if it is not 0 that means so in in all the iteration that means the j coming from 2 to i i, I minus 1 if if any number okay if any number is not divisible so automatically this part will be get executed so we are printing i because it is a prime number so i am using the end attribute so that uh, the next output will be printed in the same line so this is a simple logic for prime series okay this is a, a simple logic for prime series we'll check see i'm executing so i'm taking the starting value as a 10 and end value as 100 that means i am supposed to find the prime numbers in between 10 to 100 so the outer loop the outer loop will iterate from 10 to 100 so in each and every uh, iteration the value will be incremented by 1 so initially the value is 10 and for j for j in range 2 to i that means 2 to 10 so we have to divide this 10 with the numbers 2 to 9 because the range function doesn't uh, include the end value so it will iterate from 2 to i minus 1 that means here 9 2 to 9 so here it will iterate a 10 mod 2 10 mod 3 10 mod uh, yes a 10 mod 4 10 mod 5 so like that it will be iterating so whenever the, the, the first iteration 10 mod 2 is equal to 0 so obviously it is not a prime because there is a factor so automatically break it will come out from the loop and the next iteration will be getting so 11 now the 11 will be iterated from 2 to i minus 1 that means 2 to 11 minus 1 10 so in the first iteration of j that 11 will 11 will be divided by 2 so it is not equal to 0 it will be iterated next one so 11 will be 11 divided by 3 11 divided by 4 11 divided by 5 and so on it will move on to 11 divided by 10 so none of the cases it becomes 0 so automatically this will be executed and 11 will be printed here because 11 is a prime number so if i execute this one see we'll get all the primes 11 and then in the next iteration 12 12 mod 2 is equal to 0 so true so uh, 12 is having a factor that implies 12 is not a prime so break it will move on to the next iteration right it will come out from the loop inner loop so next iteration 13 so 13 will be divided with all the numbers from 2 to 13 minus 1 12 right so in none of the cases it becomes zero so automatically this else part will be pr uh, printed so i will be printed 13 next is 17 19 23 29 and so on so we'll get the prime series from given number two i mean in the given range for example if you go with the value starting value one and if you go with the thousand will get all the prime numbers from 1 to 1000 right so this is a very simple so this is a previous logic to find the prime and we are just adding the outer loop with a start value and end value so we are giving the range in which we are we want to find the prime right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubt regarding this program feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much